I approve this message because it's time we tried something new. Campaign season is open, and Dr. Tom Hayhurst is the first to get an ad on the air. Good evening, I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Mark Mellinger. Dr. Hayhurst faces Marlon Stutzman in November. Each hopes to take over Mark Souders' third district seat in Washington. Well, now that Hayhurst ads have hit the air, experts are weighing in. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields has been talking to both sides about what the ad is really saying. And Elizabeth, they actually agree on one thing. Yes, they do. They both describe this first commercial as interesting, but that's about the only thing they agree on. They especially disagree about why Hayhurst took the approach he did. I'm Tom Hayhurst, and I want to work for folks who sit around kitchen tables, not boardroom tables. While it's usually Labor Day before we start seeing election ads, the campaigning has begun, and already the experts disagree about the early start date. Going up early usually means you're planning on staying on throughout the whole campaign. So that's a good sign. It means Tom has the money coming in that he can go up online and probably stay on, on the air. That's a good thing to do. I think it's an acknowledgement on Dr. Hayhurst's part that he's way behind and he's got to start doing some things pretty shortly to get people to even listen to him. Dr. Hayhurst, a former Fort Wayne City Councilman, ran for the congressional seat in 2006 against Mark Souter. And even though he's a Democrat, political experts say his commercial blatantly leans right. I think an ad like this helps him because it shows that he's against a lot of the things that conservatives are against as well. Others disagree and say Hayhurst's reputation on council was very liberal, and this ad shows he's trying to change voters' minds. Running from his own party, and he, he has to do that around here. You know, Stutzman's leading in some of these polls by two to one, and, and it's been, I think we've had a Democrat in this seat twice in 35 years. While Marlon Stutzman has yet to launch any sort of commercial campaign, some say November can't come soon enough. I think this campaign could get nasty. Uh, I think Stutzman's people are expecting it to get nasty. I think they're getting ready for that uh, because, it, again, it goes to uh, Hayhurst having to redefine himself to some extent. The election is scheduled to take place November 2nd. Reporting from Studio 15, Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.